What is Benissa and Halon Valley all about? Let's find out! We sleep outside in the summertime because we live in a very peaceful place. We have the mountain view. The area is always something going on. It's a beautiful place to live. Two minutes from the beach, two minutes from the mountains. What's not to like? Ben Issa is Arab. It's Ben Issa, the sons of Issa. Welcome to my world. This is the Benissa coast running from Calpe Aifat Rock through to Marira, El Portet and Cumbre del Sol. So what is it that you do here, Joanne? Well, I'm a property finder and a relocations agent. So basically I help people move to this fantastic coastline and the interior. I meet people in the home countries, mostly from the United Kingdom, and I bring them over for orientation trips of the area to show them what the life is like here in Spain. Benissa in particular is the gateway to the northern Costa Blanca or the Marina Alta in particular. Uh, if you want to move to this region then you will pass through Benissa. This is the main exit from the motorway. It's 50 minutes to Alicante Airport, it's an hour and 10 minutes to Valencia Airport. So it's so centrally located, it's in incredible. The Orba Valleys, the Halon Valleys, are absolutely just breathtaking. People go to these areas and instantly fall in love. Finding the place that makes the heart go, you know, makes the heart beat faster. And once we've found the right house, we organise their NIEs, which is the official paperwork. Um, we organise the residencias if people are moving out here. I can even organise pet transport translate at the medical centres. Um, I really just, it's a hand-holding process through the entire move to Spain. I am completely independent. So I have no affiliations to estate agencies, anything like that. I work entirely for the buyer or the person that is moving over to this area. If they want to build a house, we find the best builder in that area based upon the style of the property, so be it a new Ibethan style property, which is very popular at the moment, or a reformation of an old townhouse or a historical building, we find the right person to fit the requirements of the client. I don't sell houses, I find houses. I first came to Spain in 1995. I've been here ever since. I actually had a short stint uh, back in the UK, but as soon as I had my children, I said to my husband I'd really like to move back to Spain and let them grow up in the outdoor lifestyle. So that's exactly what we did. Pepe, tell us about the history of Martinez Muebles. Okay, well, uh, really we are uh, the fourth generation of the business. At the beginning, my grandfather was too young to begin the, the business mm -hmm. because he was only 13 years old. He met his father to sing the foundation of the beginning of the, the business. Then until he was 20 years old, it uh, wasn't in his name, the business, okay? That is the history that we are now the fourth generation. You will celebrate 100 years in 2019. Of course, always we are in evolution. All this is the new part. Here is the factory, because at the beginning we were factory, but we evolved only to shop. I want to show you the, the museum that we are preparing. It's not finished, of course. The idea is to finish when we are 100 years old. Natalia, I want to show you the first machine in Muebles Martinez. This is just to make a metallic line, you can see there, to make the basis of the beds. Moles Martinez have all the styles. Mm -hmm. We have classic style, we have rustic, like uh, this area. We have all the level of prices, because we have uh, a lot of different clients. We need to have the highest uh, level mm -hmm. furniture and very low cost um, furniture. 
most important thing is that uh, we are not only a furniture shop. Uh, we make a global home decorating, okay? We have kitchens, we have carpets, curtains, lighting, bedding, of course, furniture. This is ready built, we can come to you and Exactly, you and we make all. <laughs> okay, great. We are now in the high-end section of the shop. Do you want to see? Here? Yes, please. Okay, yes. follow me then. <laughs> All that furniture are uh, for Russian clients, okay, normally. Yes, I can see that. Yes. <laughs> Peppa, I hear that you know what the name Benisa means. Benisa is Arab. It's Ben Isa, the sons of Isa. John, when we are passing through the main street in Benissa, it doesn't look like much. However, there are so many <laughs> hidden gems here, right? Absolutely. Get off the main road. Mm -hmm. Basically, every village has a heart in Spain. Here we are at the heart of Benissa. Mm -hmm. Once you get to the heart of Benissa, you'll find the plazas, the squares, the life of the town revolves around the village. We'll find lots of little hidden away um, shops. Whatever you need making or doing for you, you will find in the centre of the town. I born in Benissa, just in this house. Um, and I live here when I am a child. Later I go to Madrid for studying for university. I decided to come here and open our optician center here. We are 11 persons who are working. We have four shops, one in Benissa Center, in Benissa Coast, in Teulada and in Altea. And we have a different service for audio, test the retina, this, that and different services that normally the opticians don't have. We have a international clients and we speak uh, many languages. Shirley, tell us how come you're here in Benissa, what is your story? I was born in Colombia and 50 years ago I came to Spain with my family and after I got married my husband lives here in Benissa. I live now here okay. in Benissa. And you have animal shop? Yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah. I opened the, the shop because I love the animals and I thought that it, it would be a good idea to provide uh, some service for the people of Benissa and for the animals, of course. Off the main square as well we have the cathedral, or affectionately known as the cathedral, it isn't a real cathedral, but it's the largest church on the Marina Alta. Something really interesting about the library here is it has a bar and a restaurant inside it. So, yeah, you can see it's just really popular. At the end of the school year, the schools will come here and do their, their final performances for the parents. Nobody wants to be sat inside too long in the summer, so they hold the outdoor cinema. What are these paintings here? These are the remnants of the fiestas. They get the children out and the children paint the streets and they decorate the, the streets around here as well. You'll see that in many towns all the way through Spain. All of the old towns as well will generally have the gate to the town and uh, this would have been back in the day the central square mm -hmm. for Benissa. The town hall is just off here. This town hall before was an hospital. We have about 14,000 persons living in Benissa in, uh, every year, but in summer it's a little bit more. We have about uh, 10,000 houses. In Benissa don't have any height building, no, it's not Benidorm or New York, <laughs> but we have villas, bungalows. The lands have a very, very, very good views uh, to the sea and to the mountains. The weather is special. We, we live very good here. <laughs> I can imagine. From 
more than 65 nationalities oh. lives in Benissa and uh, we have um, people especially from the north of Europe, English and German people the most. 40% of the people lives in Venice is from other countries and we have a department for foreign people to help them in, other, in all questions eh, with his relations uh, with the town hall, with his taxes, with ev everything. And what about cultural uh, activities? Are there other festivals? Do you have concerts? What do you have yes, here? we have a, a lot of cultural events for music, fiestas de moros y cristianos. Now let's explore the villages of Halon Valley. The documentary is about Benissa and Halon Valley and here we are looking at the area. Can you explain it a little bit for us? This is Benissa and this is the coast area. Where is the valley exactly? It's just next door, look. Mm -hmm. Following this road we are in Halon Valley. Okay. And neighboring is Orba. Comparing with the other villages, Orba is quite big. Mm -hmm. Tell us about attractions and festivities that you have going here. Okay, attractions here in the valley is of course the wine and gastronomical experience mm -hmm. and then you have local fiestas. And walking it's very important. Benissa has natural coves joined by an ecological path. It's a very beautiful walk. Especially Halon, it's quite important because the market. On Saturday we have a popular market and people in the region come here for buy, you know, old things and second-hand things. Once a month, people who grow ecological food come here and sell these products. Let's talk to the biggest wine producer in the Halon Valley. Emily, tell us about Bodega Sala. We have record that date back until 1742, where the Muslims started to collect and cultivate and commercialize the Moscatel grape. The Moscatel grape is one of the varieties of the white grapes in this region. It's one of the best varieties of grapes, as it has its own characters and extremely sweet taste to it. In 1962, 14 agriculturalists decided to join forces and open the Bodega Chalot. That's one of the most popular wineries around this region. There is about 370 partners and between all of them we have about 420 hectares of vine range. Wow, that's impressive. Emily, I've noticed there are some young people working here and um, they're also living here. What they can do here? This valley is amazing. You have Lots of stuff to do. It's a small village, but you can get to everything. Walking distance. It's like being in a family. You can walk out your door in the home and everybody you see in the street knows you. Yeah, and it gives you a good sense of feeling to be able to come out and walk here. For example, I work here. I've worked here nearly a year. And coming here every day is fun. It's entertaining. We're always laughing. And in some ways, it's one of the best jobs you can have, being happy every day with your co-workers. Mm -hmm. For example, there's another young boy here. He came here to do for work studies, to do practices. He liked the way everybody was friendly and he asked if he could stay and he's been working here ever since. He's an analogist. That means that he controls a grape from where he gets it from the, um, from the vineyard and he brings it to the bodega and it's elaborated and studied all the way through the process from it becoming as it grows and transformed into the wine here at the bodega. In a year, we collect about 3 million kilograms of grapes. In total, in a year, we produce about 1 million bottles of wine. Every morning, my husband and I wake up 
look at those mountains and say, aren't we lucky? I couldn't recommend it more highly. For us, it's a special place. It has a wonderful community, very international, and I very quickly joined the charity. It's a charity that provides assistance, support, and indeed care for people of any age, any nationality. It's uh, an organization that can provide you anything from a wheelchair, pair of crutches, even a hospital bed. Okay. We've got a bit of a reputation for fun because raising money is hard work. Mm -hmm. So we do that by having two shops, one in Hallon, one in Alcala Lee, and by having endless fundraising activities that we try and make really enjoyable and affordable. Let's talk to some restaurant owners in the area. Koke, tell us about La Solana. Okay, La Solana, it's a family business from 1981. It's always the same family owning the restaurant. We offer different kinds of meat and fish and seafood. Also, you can choose between different starters and desserts. You can find a lot of homemade cakes. We organize family celebrations, associations and groups up to 160 people. What is so special about Alcalali? Alcalali is a charming village. It is 20 minutes from Denia or Calpe. Especially on Album Blossom, it's very beautiful. I came to Spain in 2002 with my husband and my family and also my mum and dad and we decided we wanted to come here, we wanted a better way, a different way of life and started the bar here, the Citrus Cafe Bar. We decided it was a niche there that needed to be filled so we supply and cook homemade food, English food, uh, particularly cakes, we're very famous for our cakes. There are actually three generations of bakers in our family. So my mother taught us all, and then there's myself and my daughter. We chose the Hallon Valley as somewhere to come and live because of the health benefits and also because of the international school there. We decided we wanted to attract different people. We also have live music throughout the summer in our garden. And we do a lot of sports coverage on our large television screen. I've built it, I've put all my energy into it. I think it's a beautiful place and so do many people that come here. The reasons I'm here, I don't know yet. I don't know, I truly don't know. I know it's spiritual. I know it's my path. I know this is a stepping stone now where originally I thought I was either going to live here or that was going to be my spiritual place, but I can't fund it because I can't do this and I haven't got the time to do that as well. I've never been a chef, never been a cook, couldn't cook anything. In England I was a builder. We did it up, we spent two years of hard work doing it up. I'm actually a healer, I want to be a medium. Um, my path is to go further with my mediumship. I am going to be putting it up for sale. The money side of things is not what I'm about. It used to be when I was younger, I was very ambitious. I've got younger children now and I want to spend more time with them as well, you know. But coming here for me to Spain is the best move I've ever made. My kids love it, they swim in a day, the sun's better. I'm not slagging England off whatsoever. I, I, I loved England when I was there. Would I go back? Never. Let's ask other international business owners about living here. Thirty years ago we decided to move to Spain and we picked this area. We knew what was missing in this area and we opened the corner shop. 
Uh, we do swimming pool chemicals, which is very, very popular because we keep the price down on everything we sell. Um, we also raise money for the animal charity. So what is it that you do here, George, except for the shop? Uh, I sing professionally with uh, three or four different groups. Different um, styles of music in bars and restaurants. So for the person that would like to move in here or visit, what would you tell to? Come, quickly. <laughs> yes, come. Don't waste time. Just get here. So what have we got here? It's our bedroom. Oh, well, in, it's our summer bedroom. <laughs> Outdoor bedroom. Yeah, we sleep outside in the summertime because, you know, we live, we live in a very peaceful place, very near the mountains. We have the mountain view. Tell us a little bit about your story. How did you get here? We wanted to try something different. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to try to live outside the box. We've been in Spain, we've been in this area before, and we just thought it was a wonderful place, and, mm -hmm. and the Spanish people are really warm, welcoming, and sharing, and mm -hmm. really a relaxed people and more happy. We thought it was, it was right. something for us. This area, it's, uh, people are very open-minded. You can live individually, you can live alternative. They're, they're very open-minded to a lot of things. The two organic farms very near. Okay. We have organic shops in the next towns, in the next valley. And there's always a possibility to get fresh and healthy food. And there are a lot of uh, alternative people here doing therapies, doing different things. And about education, there's an alternative school in this area. So it's, that's why I think we were attracted to this area. We are living in a multi-ethnic society here. There are people from yeah, all over the world. It's like they come to this area because they all attract to this area and it's, it's fantastic. We just live all among each other in, in big yeah. harmony. We are using the mountains a lot, the mountain walks and cycling a lot. What is it that you're doing? I'm selling and install water filters and shower filters. So people here in the, most of the Costa Blanca I'm, I'm covering, uh, Torveje up to Denia, uh, can have the benefits of having clean and healthy water in the tap or in the shower. So what is the quality of water here? Of course it's not good and you need to get rid of the chlorine that is put in the water. Okay. That's the most important thing. And then you don't have to buy all the bottled waters, the plastic bottle. So you can have clean drinking water just from the tap. It's very easy to, to change the filter when you need to do that. And as you can see, it fits in everywhere. How was it to adjust from Danish mentality to the Spanish mentality? Yeah, well, I think we have learned to uh, love the manana. Yeah, in uh, the beginning it was a little bit difficult. It's like you can just stay in the, the queue of the supermarket, daydreaming and just, just learn to enjoy. But, but, but. <laughs> When I have an appointment with water filters, I always come right on time. We came here when our kids they were 5 and 11. It's a, it's a perfect place because there's so many different schools here, public school, private school, both Spanish and English, a lot of possibilities. They don't have necessarily to study this or that. They can study, they can go, they can do, they can work, they can do everything. And it's just, for us, it's just fantastic. We heard a lot of good things about the international school here. Let's talk to them now. Richard, Peppa, tell us about your school. It's a very international school mm -hmm. and it, currently we have 27 different nationalities in the school. We run the British National Curriculum which can be accessed by all and then they use that tool to go on to university. There are so many other things that we do here and outside of the school to try and grow the child's learning experience. So they will travel, they are traveling to New York, they travel to Iceland, they do the Duke of Edinburgh Award. The idea is to try and broaden the young person's approach to themselves so that when they leave the school they go into the community that is Europe or the world as extremely confident and well-rounded pupils. Good opportunity for the people in the area and especially my Lake Mom, we can see the benefits that the children have to be in an international school here in the middle of the Halon Valley. I think that is really important, like a personal values, they go with that and they have the opportunity to go to the Spanish university or any international one. We have taken the initiative to introduce a boarding facility, it's only 15 minutes away, where pupils are coming from Lithuania, coming from Spain, coming from uh, China. We were absolutely delighted to come to this safe place in the middle of everywhere, in fact, because Benissa and the Halon Valley, this is the middle of a huge hub for us. And back to Benissa. I had a airbrushing and sign writing business in England, but generally in England it's raining all the time and it's not very nice. 
In 2013, we moved out here. I met Emma and we decided to start up a business out here. And here we paint cars, we airbrush custom cars. It doesn't matter whether it's an old classic car or whether it's a Ferrari, it's their pride and joy. We were approached by a mother and son and he would like us to become a sponsor in painting his helmet. We did a smile for him and it seemed to be very popular with the photographers. The area is always something going on. It's a beautiful place to live. You finish work, go to the coast five minutes away and you're on holiday. My family started with this business in 2002 because the family loved the plants. I have this greenhouse that is to have the indoor plants. Here do you have an example of a plant with low maintenance and low expanding of water that is a really important thing in this area. Another part of the company is alone working on landscaping, construction of the gardens and also do the maintenance later. Let's explore the coastal side of Benisa. I come from Germany when I have 21 years. I need it, change in my life. We offer modern and natural hairstyles. The hair is the natural treasure each person and that is the reason we work with La Biostetic. With this brand, we offer scalp analysis, so the hair can grow nice and healthy. We speak English, Russian, German and Spanish. What I like of Penisa is the old town in the church is the most beautiful in La Marina Alta. It's a great opportunity of this bar that you've got the beach just right here but then they can also come to the bar and you can eat. We're between Calpe and Mariah so it's like a really chilly relaxed area and that's why we chose this location to actually have a bar. You can have here their lunch or dinner and even breakfast. We also serve a lot of cocktails. Our strong foods are house-made rices, paella which is a typical food from here. And we also have fresh fish, always. We also offer live music. All and because the coast is one of the most beautiful here, we've got a high diversity in the water, so if someone is really interested in that environment, it's like extraordinary here. The temperature of the water, it's always warm. You can literally swim all year round. So it's really nice to integrate here. You've got like the really Spanish native, but you've also got people from all around the world. You yourself are from Switzerland. Yes, my family moved here 40 years ago and I've been born here in Spain. Gemma, tell us a little bit about the history of this place. The Ultimate Retreat Company has been running now for quite a few years. The owners realized there was a real need for an environment where business people, people who are health conscious could come to in this stunning environment and have a week away from normality, be able to relax and press a reset button. We are well hidden. It's very much a word of mouth place that once you've been here, 90% of our guests return and they normally bring friends with them as well. And then they come time and time again. The guys here have all international recognized qualifications. One week it will be a yoga week, the next week it will be a boot camp, and the following week it will be a wellness and detox. To live here, which I've done so for many years, is just an amazing opportunity. We have sun for the majority of the year. We have the most amazing people who live here, a constant ability to meet new people and learn new skills. Two minutes from the beach, two minutes from the mountains. What's not to like? 